Today was the final day of the Duke of Cambridge's visit to the Holy Land, and it was perhaps the most spiritual, with him visiting the three holy sites, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and also the Kotel, the Western Wall. He came here and went through the crowds. Uh, there were a little alleyway made for him so that he could go to the wall, uh, place a note in the wall, and say a prayer of his own, uh, guided all the way by the UK's chief rabbi, Ephraim Mervis, who we got to speak to immediately after the prince left in his first interview. And here's what he told me about how important this trip is for Israel and for Britain. He's a man of peace. He is a truly outstanding human being. His entire gesture by being here at the holiest site within the Jewish faith was his way of reaching out to the Jewish people and to the state of Israel. And it is enormously appreciated by us. Following that trip to the Kotel, Prince William then went on to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and also earlier in the day he had visited the grave of his great-grandmother, Princess Alice, who had been buried in Jerusalem because she is one of the righteous among the nations. That is, somebody who saved the lives of Jewish people during the Second World War, the Shoah, at the risk of their own life. The Prince, as well as taking in the holy sites here in Jerusalem, has had an eventful few days in the Middle East. The aim of this trip was to keep things non-political, the royal family not taking political positions. Whether or not he will have achieved that aim remains to be seen in the coming days. But all three areas that he visited are now basking in the glow of having had the attention of the future king of Great Britain visiting their country and their people. Jonathan Sacerdotti, I-24 News, in the old city of Jerusalem.